Good evening. For months, Metro schools have been engulfed in controversy over how the district has spent your money. Now the school board appears ready to enact reforms to reassure taxpayers that they're watching. News Channel 5 Chief Investigative Reporter Phil Williams first uncovered many of the questions and he's just back from the school board. Phil. Well guys, the school board member behind the reform proposals insists it's not aimed at schools director Dr. Sean Joseph that it's been a long time coming. Still, it's clearly designed to respond to questions raised by our investigations about millions spent without following the district's own purchasing policies and about contracts awarded without the school board's knowledge. I take very seriously the allegations of misspending and I suggest an investigation. After months of controversy over the district's management under schools director Dr. Sean Joseph. Weeks, I have found more questions than answers and have noted what have what appear to be a number of financial red flags including a series of audits demanded by rebel school board members. The Metro School Board met in committee this afternoon to look at reforms designed to keep such questions from blowing up again in the future. Uh, the conversations that have happened this year um, have been healthy, in my opinion. They've created uh, a healthy tension in the system, if you will, uh, that has led to uh, you know more introspection about how we're spending money. We're looking at this because we keep getting complaints about spending. Among the proposals pushed by board member Will Pinkston, the school board would engage Metro's Office of Internal Audit to provide year-round audit services to monitor how the district spends more than $900 million of your money every year. Pinkston's plan envisions two full-time auditors dedicated to just Metro schools at a cost to taxpayers of more than $200,000. I believe that spending um, a little bit of money to ensure savings in a very, very large budget is the right approach and uh, ultimately will pay for itself over time. That's amazing. Thank you. Prior to Joseph's arrival, the school board decided it only wanted to approve contracts worth $100,000 or more. But our investigation discovered Joseph's team signed contracts that broke up large expenditures into smaller chunks, effectively bypassing board approval. Under Pinkston's plan, the threshold for board approval of contracts would be lowered from $100,000 down to $25,000. Now, uh, by lowering that threshold, it'll just cause more contracts to come to the board floor create more opportunity for review and therefore more transparency to the public. The proposal to create the internal auditors actually drew support from Dr. Joseph himself, who suggested those watchdogs could help identify small problems before they become big ones. There are still details to work out, including identifying where the money will come from. These issues are expected to, to come before the full board in the next few weeks. Vicki.